Lego. <laughs> Get it, Lego. Hello. I'm not sure how this video is gonna be received, but I've been wanting to do just like a purely dedicated Lego video for a long time. Target is one of the places that I get Legos from, and they go through this like cycle. They'll have literally every shelf full of new sets and like so many of them, every option you can imagine for like every genre of Lego you can imagine. And then that gets like slowly cleaned out to the point where you go and you're like, there's nothing new here for me, nothing I'm interested in. And the other day, I went to get dog food, happened to just pass through the Lego aisle, and lo and behold, stocked and loaded. I decided that it has been a while since I've splurged and got like a good set. There's a few I have my eye on, so we're gonna go in, see what they have, and purchase it, and I'm just so freaking excited. I'm gonna switch y'all to phone because because I'm by myself and a little bit um, shy when it comes to filming with my camera in like crowded spaces. Yee! New member of the family. I can't. This is my like most joyous <sighs> self. has been secured. Ah! Also, we picked up Charles. Mama is not moving once I get started. So we got Charlie, we got dinner. I'm so excited, oh my God. All right, we are home. He's just waiting to be built. I'm gonna get set up and show you probably one of my top purchases I've made, not only just in life in my apartment, if I'm honest, it was for my Lego building content. It is a game changer if you have a small space. Just gonna say. This is my portable table. Definitely a little bit on like the pricier side, but it's super like luxe looking and the amount of use I've got from it for either building Legos or like having work days from home or even like when I have friends over for dinner and stuff. We have like stools under the island, but like we don't have like a dining room table. So this has been like clutch. It's just like so nice. Okay. <laughs> so I went with the mighty Bowser set from the Lego Super Mario line. If you haven't been able to tell by my like love of Darth Vader, I think I might have like a villain complex, but that's okay. This guy has 2,807 pieces. He was pricey for sure, but definitely not the most expensive set that I, you know, purchased. Let's flip her around. Oh gosh, look at the shell. Okay, so it looks like we got some like movement features that the mouth opens and it looks like he shoots out a fireball, which is just freaking epic. And the dimensions looks like it's like 11.5 by 11.5 inches. So we're talking like roller length. Oh, he's gonna be so like meaty. Let's open her up. Oh. Let's see how many bags we got. 22 bags, that's a good amount. Let's look at the book. This is the only kind of reading I need to do in my life. I don't see any mini figures. I was kind of thinking it was gonna come with like a tiny little Bowser, which would have been so cute. That's okay. I've officially decided I'm gonna start collecting mini figures, so that's why like my eyes are out for them. I'm gonna attempt to make the most epic time lapse of the creation of Bowser, and then I will show you detailed <laughs> shots of, um, the king over here. Ah!
my hair. I'm obsessed with him. Started at 6, made it till 3 a.m., woke up, finished him. I am so tired and need to like go back to bed and take a nap, but oh, look at him. He's so cute. We are very happy. Let me know if you like this video because I mean, my goal in life is to be a Lego content creator full time, so. I'm gonna go add him to the collection. He's too tall, so I couldn't put him on his throne, but I have this star from Mario Brothers anyways that is from Bricker Builds, and he's just chilling right there. But he fits right in. Oh, I love you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Peace. <laughs>